If anyone tells you that they know exactly why oil prices go up or down, they're probably lying to you because it's such a complex phenomenon. There are so many things that go into the prices. Um, but there are a few general principles that do seem to have an effect on oil prices in a broad way. Um, one of them is economic, is economic growth, right? So one reason why oil prices started to descend in, you know, from mid 2014 until the present, or at least until before coronavirus, um, is that uh, Chinese economic growth seemed to be flagging, right? As economic growth increases, demand for oil increases, prices increase. If economic growth decreases, it follows that oil prices also tend to decrease. Um, at the same time, the oil market is a very boom or bust industry, right? Uh, it goes through periods where prices are high. In those periods, um, high prices incentivize a lot of investment in future production. But there is a time lag between when investment is undertaken and when the production from that investment actually comes onto the market. And that time lag can be years or even you know, upwards of a decade. Right. So various companies are responding to price conditions from years earlier when they're investing in new production capacity now. And so what tends to happen is that you have these periods where prices are high. Um, there's a lot of demand for oil. Countries or companies decide to invest more, um, but they all sort of do it at the same time. And once those investments come to fruition and start producing oil, you have a glut in the oil market, right? Um, so that's part of it. It's just a, sort of a boom bust industry by nature. Um, another thing that people point to is the, is the boom in fracking or in hydraulic fracturing in the United States. 